Today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Wii using the letter bomb method. This is mainly for the people who can't connect their Wii to the internet or they can't get the other methods to work. All you need for this exploit is an SD card, mine's a 2GB, but any size up to 32 I believe will work well. And then I also have an SD reader, external SD reader for my computer since it doesn't have one itself. I will link everything I use in the description if you're interested. But starting off, we're going to go to the Wii options, Wii settings, and we're going to make sure that the version is 4.3. The letter doesn't matter, that's just the region code, but if it's not, just go two pages over and just do a Wii system update before you go any farther. So once it's 4.3, you need to go to the calendar and make sure the date and time are the correct. Uh, this will be important for uh, later on. So make sure that's all right. And once you're done that, go over to the internet section, go on console information, and you're gonna wanna keep your Mac address. My computer's right beside my Wii, so I can just leave this page open, but you can take a picture or write it down, but you will need this Mac address. And obviously I'm covering mine just for privacy. So once you have all that, we're ready to go over to the computer onto the SD card. And once you're at your computer, put your SD card in, and then I'll have in the description the link to this HackMe website where you'll get the letter bomb exploit. So once you get here, make sure you click your right region code. I'm a U, American. I think that's Europe, Japan, Korea. I'm not sure. Uh, and then put your MAC address in. And once your MAC address is in there, make sure this is checked. Bundle the HackMe installer. Uh, click I'm not a robot. You can cut either the red or blue wire. It doesn't really matter and then you'll get a um, your download will go so once you have the file drag it into your SD card whoops where'd it go right click on it and just cl click extract here so give it a minute and now everything's there you can delete the uh, the WinRAR folder you don't need that anymore but make sure all of this is in there because you need all of it for this to work. But once you're done that, it's ready to be put back into the Wii. Make sure the SD card is in the Wii, and then go down to messages, and this is why you have to do the proper date. So you're gonna go back, and it should be there. Sometimes it's forward, and if you can't find it, make sure the date is correct and the time. Or you can go into your calendar, and then this envelope will show you. So maybe it's last month. I've never seen that before, but once you get to there, click on the letter bomb, and then the Hack Me installer will begin. All of this is normal. It's going to bring us to this screen where it basically says, don't pay for this because it's free, otherwise you're scammed. And then one will eventually pop up. There we go, we got the one. That took about a minute or two. So if you're uh, worrying that it's taking a while, it's, it's slow. So press one. And now we're in the HackMe installer. From here, uh, just press A to continue. Use the uh, up and down on the D-pad. Uh, and then you can go all the way up to install the homebrew channel. Click A. Click A on yes. And then it'll install it super quick. We're done. And then you can also uninstall the homebrew channel. So you can, if you want to un-homebrew your Wii, you can do that here. You can, I'm not going to do it, but you can download Boot Me onto your SD card. It's a, it's a layer of brick protection for your Wii. But other than that, you can exit, and then back in the home screen, you'll see uh, that you, or sorry, the homebrew channel will pop up. It's empty because I don't have any apps on it, but I'll show you how to do that in other videos. So if we go back to the system menu, and you can see that there's the homebrew channel. And just like that, your Wii is ready to play any emulator game, any any Wii game, anything you want. I'll, I'll be making more videos on that in the future, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. I hope this helped.